in court via Zoom today. A Tennessee inmate convicted of aggravated rape and kidnapping. A jury in 2013 found Larry Lee Smith lured a woman into a Knoxville motel room where he attacked her. Well, Smith said his attorney did not prepare him for the meeting today and the hearing was rescheduled. His criminal record extends from Georgia to Florida to here in Tennessee. Investigators say Mr. Smith targeted young women for decades and while he's never been charged, his name is consistently tied to a decades old unsolved killing. Here's 10 News reporter Leslie Ackerson with tonight's Appalachian Unsolved. The pictures that you're going to see are where her body was thrown. This is the field where she was found. She's found in the woods. It's a wooded hillside near Highway 68 in Cumberland County, where an early morning stroll in January of 89 brought an eerie discovery. A man walking his dog finds a skull. Through dental records and jewelry, anthropologist Bill Bass quickly made a match. Well, this is Michelle Anderson. She was a high school girl here in town and went missing. It was a case that had been sitting stone cold for two years, a case that really never got started until that moment. A pretty girl, the Fulton High School junior, was 15 when she disappeared. It was January of 87. She'd been out partying with friends and didn't come home. Her mother felt she was searching for her without help, even making her own posters. That all changed with the discovery of Michelle's remains. By the time I got involved, they found the body. I thought, something ain't right. Then I found out the clothes she found in was exactly the clothes she disappeared in two years before. Knoxville Police Detective Randy York would try to revive the case, but time and a missing case file made it tough. And things are lost, and it's just, uh, it's just a crying shame that uh, things like that happen. So he started from scratch with the night that Michelle was last seen. They had gone to a party in Western Heights. And this guy was an adult that had the party, so that's not a good recipe. The host, Larry Lee Smith, he furnished the teens with alcohol and pot and supposedly gave Michelle a ride home. He claims that he took her over off Jefferson Avenue a few blocks from the her boyfriend's house. Now, I never could understand if he took her, why didn't he take her to the house? But he set her up Cherry Street and, and Jefferson Avenue and let her out. Suppose he's that's what she wanted him to do. She was never seen alive again. Smith was the last known person with her. Smith was a convicted sex offender and the crime scene fell on his delivery route for his job. York wasn't the only one trying to find answers to Michelle's death. An author, Sasha Reynolds, did the same. My son was her classmate and what had happened in her case bothered, bothered me so much. Reynolds began her research collaborating with detectives. She believes the initial investigation was sloppy and Larry Lee's involvement overlooked. I mean, there was not a shred of evidence that she'd run away. Nothing about the sequence of events supported that line of reasoning. You know, he'd already been convicted of kidnapping and raping a girl in Florida had been since. So all that had already happened. Had anybody actually looked into who he was and not just given him some silly excuse and writing it off? The missing case file also contained a satanic note left on Michelle's mother's door not long after she went missing. I think we'd have had that letter the DNA would have probably uh, been, a, been a, a big thing. York chased down leads for years against Smith, but couldn't build a case against him. After a 20-year prison stint in Georgia, Smith returned to Knoxville, only to rape another young woman. He's what's called a, an impulsive, disorganized serial rapist. He, he was a sick puppy, and he couldn't quit. He couldn't stop. While both believe the Michelle Anderson case will never be solved, they're certain Larry Lee Smith is guilty. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind. Today, Reynolds has formed a bond with Michelle's mother and victims of Larry Lee Smith's. It's already outside the courthouse after the trial and he'd been convicted. We're all standing there arm in arm. The band of sisters supported each other through his Knoxville trial in 2013 and still keep in touch today. That was Leslie Ackerson. Larry Lee Smith will appear in court in September in person for that hearing for his 2013 rape conviction. To read more about his history, the Michelle Anderson case, and the book on both, just head to WBIR.com.